marriage equality. Well, welcome back to Harbaugh. That's New York Governor David Patterson today pushing for his state to legalize gay marriage. New York would be the fifth state in the country to allow gay marriage, joining Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, and most recently, Iowa. Legislation's also moving in New Hampshire and New Jersey. So let's debate it. Gay marriage, yes or no? Pat Buchanan is an MSNBC political analyst. And John Salamis is the president of the Human Rights Campaign. Pat, marital equality. You like uh, that phrase? Uh, well, I think, look, there, marriage is an institution between man and woman, ordained by God and, and, uh, and also by human nature for the procreation of the human race. It's been recognized by religions and states as a sacrosanct institution, and the idea that you can redefine it by legislation is an absurdity. But don't we have civil law that allowed for divorce even when churches did not? Don't we have yeah. cases where there's civil decisions about marriage that go, that depart from yeah. church yeah. doctrine? <clears throat> well, sure, we the Church I'm of not, England. I'm not talking about church doctrine, I'm talking about natural law, Chris. The, okay. the law of human nature, which is designed by God, and quite frankly, you cannot redefine, you can redefine it and say what it is, but that's playing let's pretend. Is monogamy natural law? Yes, monogamous relationship well, in a marriage is natural law. But states have allowed people having serial marriages. States have allowed polygamy in some cases, there's no doubt and about Serial it. marriages, one after another after another. Yep, and that's monogamous relationships in a serial and relationship. you think that's states. natural? I think well, a relationship between a man and a woman for the procreation of children is natural. If the state passes legislation saying divorce is legitimate and now you can get remarried, fine. And that's, that's but, consistent with your natural law theory? That's consistent with natural law, okay. I think, but it's not, that's not consistent, obviously, with church law okay. or God's law. Okay, so we law. have three different bases of decision making. Church right. law, natural law, as Pat sees it, mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, what's coming? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I think you know what you've seen in the last week uh, is a, a, a court decision in the state of Iowa, in a heartland state, which is a, a major development in the fight for marriage, and for the first time, legislatively enacted marriage in the What's state. What's your of strongest Vermont. argument when you when you meet with people who disagree with you? why we should have uh, the right to marry someone from the same sex. You know, generally speaking, when you talk to somebody about the circumstances of our lives, when you talk about uh, people who make a decision to make a long-term commitment, same-sex couples who are together for 30 or 40 years, and you talk about uh, uh, not just uh, a recognition of that commitment, but the rights and responsibilities that go along with that commitment, uh, the ability of two people who spend their whole life together to get one another social security survivor benefits, or to make end-of-life decisions. Right. We're at our most vulnerable. You know, most people come around on those issues, and most people come to understand that, in fact, the circumstances of our lives are very much the same. Pat, okay. well, what I do just, you do with people that are that are gay, who uh, have that orientation, well, and they live together you. for 20, 30 years? Are they allowed to create a bond that's legal? Well, look, let why me not have a bond? If I knew a, a man and then two men together, or something like that, and one of them was sick and dying, would I give his friend time off? To go see him, of course I would. But Chris, you cannot violate the basic laws of human nature and declare a relation, a sexual relationship between two men, to be a marriage because it's not. You can't well, simply. Well, what causes but, people to be attracted to each other within? I the don't same know, gender? Chris. I don't you know it's whether not it's natural. What is it? It's if it's. I don't know whether it's nature or nurture, but it is not. But natural. if it is nature, then well, it is natural. But look, that, no, that, no, no, it is an aberration is, of human okay. nature. Well, that Chris. is your point of view, but in the context of the civil institution of marriage, mm -hmm. you know, the courts have said, that, as was the case in Iowa, in the question of the civil institution of marriage, mm -hmm. that there is no difference between the circumstances of our lives and anybody else's, and, and have been made great pains to be clear that this has nothing to do with the religious is, is, institution is they of say in Dickens, if the law says that, the law is an ass. Let me say this about, look, Chris, in Massachusetts, in California, in Iowa, you have judges imposing ideology yeah. on voters. In 29 states, every state where it's been voted on, people have risen up and said, for God's sakes, don't do this. We want this outlaw. Well, what is that abomination. true? What about the polling? Because the latest polling well, I pointed to when I spoke to your group a couple weeks ago was the latest vote in California, Pat, which is kind of interesting. It was 27% like to support the trend towards same-sex marriage. Then it was 37%. And most recently, this past month, it's 49% in California that support this trend. 
So there is a trend, Pat. There's you no got doubt. Well, there's, there's a trend. There's not only a trend. percent voted against it. Seventy percent of African Americans voted against right. it. Right. Fifty-three percent of Hispanics. But Chris, let's suppose they vote it in New Hampshire. What happens that, if it becomes reality? What is it then? Well, what, it, what happens? Well, what's going to happen to America? America is a moral community, or it's ceasing to be a moral community. Take a look at the Episcopal Church, with which we're somewhat right. familiar. Chris, nothing's going to happen. It's smashed apart. It's falling apart. This country, Chris, mm. is falling apart like, over well, moral. Wait, 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 he just made, a, he made, a, he made a, a point that is breaking worldwide. society apart. Let's make a secular response. Is there a secular response to what Pat says? Believe anything you will about God's will. Social behavior. Is there an argument to be made that it's a socially well, solid position to you, take? You know, same look sex at the marriage? states. Look at the states where uh, marriage equality has been granted. Massachusetts, 40, 60. You know, 40 percent of the people were for marriage equality. Now 60 percent of the people are for it because all of these gloom and doom scenarios, all of the fear that's put forth about what's going to happen to society, uh, n people realize none of it comes to be. And you're going to see the same thing in Iowa. You know, I mean, Iowa right now we're at about 40, 60. I think the courts ruled, the legislature is not going to let it move, and you're going to see the same thing. The people of Iowa are going to live with marriage equality, and in a year, mark hey, my Pat, words, those numbers Where are we going to be move. in 10 years on this issue? Oh, I think it's probably, I don't, I don't doubt that the things are moving in the direction of, quote, legalizing that, but I truly believe, I know you had Rick Perry on, I truly believe the unity that we once had is going. The United States as a community mean, is dissolving. Is Texas leaving because right, of this? No, Texas, <laughs> Texas, if you impose it on Texas, you'll get a more okay, of a reaction than you. Vermont. Thank you, Pat Buchanan, for <laughs> producing it up. Anyway, Joe Salamese, thank you very much.